Milwaukee pack out. Everybody's go to. You know, I am not a Milwaukee fanboy by any means. But I will say, very happy with some of their stuff. Others have a little bit to be desired. But isn't that with everything? For those that don't know, I'm David. This is Chasing Content. Your channel on a little bit of everything in my life. I don't really have a goal with this channel. And I don't really have a goal with life. <clears throat> I do know that... I am constantly busy and I'm tired. I've mentioned it in, in <clears throat> came and talk. I've mentioned it in previous videos that I'm just tired of life. Same old stuff every day. So then I was thinking, what if I slim down my projects? Maybe not try to do tons of stuff. Maybe not try to do tons of side hustle, repairing things. I like my service truck. It comes in extremely handy sometimes. But I, I just... I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually going to continue on with doing side work. Maybe some stuff for a few people. <clears throat> I think once I get rid of my meat chickens that are consuming my shop completely, I'm just going to throw everything away. You know. It's been kind of nice not doing much on the weekends and after work. Just kind of hanging out. But anyways, I still like to piddle. So, uh, random hair. Anyways. I want to talk about some cheap tools real quick here before we, you know, before we talk about the Milwaukee pack out. So, you know, like when you go to Rural King or Tractor Supply or any place like that, they have these cheap tool bins. You know, $2, $3, $5, $4, $4 whatever the tools may be. Well, we started to carry some of these at work. And I'm fine with cheap tools. Everything here, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight things. They were a whopping twenty-eight sixty-two. So less than thirty bucks for this. Let's see what we got here. Now, I do get a little bit of discount on this stuff because it is at work. Oh, I can't even get the daggone earplugs open here. Um, and this stuff is sold by colors. The yellow was like $3 a piece. The blues were, which I have... The blues were like $5.97 a piece. So I've got four yellows and four blues. So it was five bucks for this thing of earplugs that I could not get open. They came with directions. Nice. Nothing overly fancy. They are just earplugs. And I actually needed some a while back and did not have any. Hammer. This is kind of a rubber mallet dead blow. Not a dead blow. It's a dead blow type deal. It was funny. I actually, when I had to put the racks together, I used one of these that came in the kit when I put the racks together at work. Not bad for light work. You know, I do have my short little four pound sledge or whatever I use all the time. 
But sometimes you don't need a sledgehammer. Sometimes you want something a little bit softer. And this this has a good amount of weight to it. It's a solid, solid steel, you know, rubber or plastic ends. Now, I have noticed especially doing farm equipment or old junk. I like to pry a lot, use stuff for not what it's supposed to be. Good feeling screwdriver. I actually like this style handle the most. And this is a Harbor Freight, which, you know, I've got all these snap-on tools, you know, probably $80,000 worth of tools. And I prefer a Harbor Freight screwdriver. That's weird. I just, I like the small handles. They have a bigger handled um, screwdriver. That was a few dollars more. I just chose not to get it. And the thing about this stuff, yes, it's cheap. All right, I don't think much of the saw. It is ridiculously cheap. But with a little bit of modification, maybe I could make it better. That screw feels like it's gonna strip out. You know what, maybe I should use one of my new screwdrivers. I mean, it's it's ungodly cheap, but it was less than $3. And, I, you know, don't tell me you haven't been out on a road call somewhere or a service call and not had what you need and had to go buy something. I mean, surely to goodness, I am not the only one. Now, scrapers, this is the scraper that I carry, and this is actually just the El Cheapo. I don't even know where I got that. But, this was another $2 tool, $2.97, going to technical. You know, the fit and finish on these you can just tell it's just horrible. But it's crazy for for less than three bucks, a scraper. That's my razor blade drawer. Now I'm not gonna open these wire brushes. Again, this is a yellow, so it's less than three dollars for the pack. Hey, the one thing I'm interested in is this little screwdriver kit here. Now this is blue, so this, this is this is getting expensive here. We're up into the five dollars and ninety-seven cent tool range here. And I tell you, the actual reason I got this was to work on one of my knives. It has these little bitty star bits right here. Yeah. Now, see, this has an insert where you can put all the bits in it. Magnet. Oh, this is magnetic, so that's nice. But it's got a clip on it, so I feel like if you left your bit in there, it would... You would end up losing it. I 
all the bits do store in the handle of it. I like that a lot, actually. Definitely put that in the screwdriver drawer. And last but not least, sharpening stones. Two dollars and ninety-seven cents. This probably doesn't even have. Aluminum oxide stone. Now this right here, I don't think I would ever use on any of my good knives. But, for, you know, hatchets or axes or something like that, it might be kind of handy. Anyways, I'm just saying don't knock the cheap tools. Let's get over here back to the Milwaukee stuff. Um, actually, I put my tester in here. I tell you, oh, what were these? 180 bucks for this pack out, and it came with one set of dividers, and then you had you had to buy the rest. But man, the damn dividers are like 30 bucks a pop. And the thing that irritates me is like this right here. These will not stay, or half of them will not stay snapped down. See, that one stayed. Yeah, see? You know, so you figure you had to buy the divider set, so you're at $200 for a drawer of three of these. And the daggone dividers won't even say snapped in. I do need more dividers. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm actually probably going to maybe try to make some. Just a board or a piece of metal. I've got the wrenches in here right now, which I don't like. I really want my wrenches hanging. And I think I'm going to build some sort of hanging rack. Maybe put them on the door. And I tell you, if I put those in here, if I get rid of this drawer, I could put another one of these. But then it only leaves me like eight inches on the end. But I think I like these drawers more than the more than the metal drawers. Maybe because they're more custom customizable. I guess you would say. Now the other pack outs that I have. Are these. And I wish there was a handle right here. Because you, you got to lift up and pull out. Because where they got the pack out stuff on the bottom. They want to get caught on the lip. So I've got it jammed in there, so I'm not going to pull them out. But these I really like. And I think that they're like 80 bucks. But I keep one of them with my grinder. I keep all my grinder stuff in there. The other one I actually keep a circular saw blade. And I try to keep all the accoutrements to whatever the, the tool is in its individual bin. I tried the smaller pack outs. For my odds and ends and didn't care for them uh they were too clunky or too big i guess i'm really happy with these dewalt versions and that's what i actually went back to i had a bunch of them switched a couple over to the milwaukee pack out style you know the the thin ones but didn't like them so i'm gonna keep the dewalt stuff on the small on the small ones like that i need to get this side box cleaned out and get that rack cut out of it so I can put some shelves in there and put some more stuff back in there because I got like I said I don't carry a ton of tools because all my stuff's electrical so it's mainly just supplies
So, like I said, I don't know. I guess you kind of design your truck and build your truck the way you want it. And, uh, you know, if it works, great. If not, you can resell the pack out stuff. You know, it, it resells really well, actually. I need a home for these ear plugs. There we go. Um, I've actually been without the truck for a few weeks now. Transmission went out on it. So I thought I actually went back and changed. I dropped the pan. Fluid looked actually really good. There was nothing in the pan contaminant wise. I said, well, shoot. I said, uh, you know, maybe just try to do a filter change. And I changed the filter, put some new fluid in it, and it appears to be running fine. So I guess it actually the transmission did not go out. It just had some sort of clog filter going on. Um, from, of course, obviously, when my stuff breaks, I tend to stop it right where it is so I don't do any further damage. And I think that it was just maybe not getting enough fluid sucked through it. Maybe a, if the filter wasn't clogged, maybe the pickup was cracked. I don't know. I didn't look at the old filter that close. But apparently that was just a filter issue. So I'm really excited about not having to put a transmission in this girl. Well, I guess that's about it. Like I said, I just wanted to do a quick little chit chat about there's nothing wrong with cheap tools, you know, where tools are needed. Like I say, I chose not to put any of my snap-on or any of my wrenches like that in the truck. And I had mentioned in an earlier video doing everything with the Tectons. I've been real happy with them. Because basically I just do small, small stuff. I don't need a ton of wrenches and and, you know, I have a metric and a standard set, and that's about it. Um, I don't keep any half-inch sockets except for a half-inch set of impact. And I just keep them to use with my big Milwaukee impact gun for those extremely hard-to-get nuts. I think the only thing, I'm, like I say, I'm going to change is to get rid of that drawer box, that cobalt, and put another one of these three drawers in here. I'm happy enough with them except for the dividers. I can't believe they charge so much for those damn dividers. But anyways, except for the dividers, I've been very, very happy with the Milwaukee Packout drawers. And I know a lot of people aren't using them in service trucks, but I haven't had any problems out of them. Anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff that all the YouTubers tell you. We'll catch you guys next video.